this in the light heavyweight division, a WBA title eliminator. Zerdo Ramirez, look at the record. 42 wins, no losses, 28 knockouts. He's 30 years old in his fighting prime. He's two and a half inches taller than his Cuban opponent, and he'll enjoy a three-inch reach advantage. 12 rounds. Ramirez so soft-spoken, walks in the room so unassuming, but in the ring, he carries quite a punch. 28 KOs and 42 wins, and he's vowed to get another one here tonight as Gonzalez trying to start fast. Yeah, Ramirez showing respect for Gonzalez. Wait a minute, a right hand lands for Gonzalez. Gonzalez is dangerous early, especially in the first round. He has seven first round knockouts. You know, for all of Ramirez's physical tools, he oftentimes doesn't use them. He has got the length and the reach to be really effective operating behind the jab, but a lot of times in his career, we've seen him prefer to take fights on the inside. And there's that body shot that Ramirez is going to be looking for. Body shots and uppercuts if you're Ramirez, but you got to stay off the ropes. Left hand connects on Zerto, and this is a dream start for Unieski Gonzalez. He told us he was destined for this moment and destined for this opportunity. He's fighting like it. His feet are all tangled up with the southpaw. You'll see that a lot when an orthodox fighter squares off against a left-hander. So Gonzalez lost three of his last five fights before the three-year hiatus. But if you look back and dive into those fights, many think he was robbed in the fight against Jean Pascal. And then he had a majority decision loss to Shabransky. So those early losses weren't terrible ones. It's the Vostick loss that stands out as a really bad one. That Pascal loss was bad because I believe he won that fight and that derailed his career. Right, and straight derailed, right hand. Derailed well, his ambition and confidence going forward. As they say in team sports, you can throw the records out the window. That does not matter now. And Gonzalez is giving Zerto all kinds of fits. Big right hand landed by Gonzalez right there. Ramirez acknowledges it, but he doesn't want to take big right, shots like that so early in the fight. You got to watch out for counters coming back because they're, they're going to be wide counters coming back from Gonzalez. So punch with precision and get out. He's right in the fire, and the crowd is eating it up. Yeah, but look at how smooth Ramirez is. Now he's moving his head, pivoting away, not standing in front of the power of Unesky Gonzalez. Well, not even a warning. Not even a warning. You know, that was a cheap move by Gonzalez, who kept Ramirez in that headlock longer than he needed to. But taking a point away without a warning is ridiculous. You wonder if he'd have done the same thing to Ramirez. Right. Beautiful boxing here by Ramirez. I mean, getting angles and still not ignoring the body. The body and the uppercuts is what Ramirez does so well. Oh, and he got caught with the right hand. He's rolling the dice, Sergio. Gonzalez caught him. Caught Ramirez coming in with that check right hand. Right hand there for Zerto. Zerto wants to get him out of here right now. Well, he better be careful because I'm telling you, Gonzalez is dangerous early in these fights. He's looking for those overhand rights. That's the money punch with a southpaw, just like that, coming up short. Is this the fight you expected, Chris Mannix? Not really, because Gonzalez well, he's been a little more active than I thought he was going to be. But Ramirez is kind of letting him be active. He's staying in the pocket, just trading with him and not using his outside skills. Ramirez landed a big left hand, but Gonzalez took it well. He wanted to make a statement. He wants Bebo to notice him. And he is doing that so far. And now it's Gonzalez on the front foot. Nice spin move by Zerto. Fudo is nifty for being such a tall, big fighter. I'm really impressed with the pivots, just like that. The pivots of Ramirez, not standing in front of the power. Oh, he got caught there by Gonzalez. Gonzalez is landing some power punches, and Zerto's feeling it. Fudo's feeling them, but he's also rolling with them. They're going off the shoulders, the big shoulders of Ramirez. He's not rolling with all of them.
Gonzalez walking back. Ramirez now. Oh, and he caught him with the left hook. That buckled the knees. Is this the beginning of the end for Gonzalez? He's coming forward now like a bull. Incredible action between these two light heavyweights. Look at this, and down goes Gonzalez. They'll say it was a push. I love the way that Ramirez is countering backwards. They're all power counter shots. Zerto Ramirez fighting like he's got somewhere to go. He does not want this to continue much longer. And we saw in the Chisora Parker fight, the uppercut was there for Joseph Parker. I think the uppercut is right there for Ramirez, too. And this is the thing about Gonzalez. He has bad balance. Every time he misses, he falls off balance. And he's eating punch after power punch. You're right, his foundation is shot. Oh, but he's still got it up to land that right hand. Incredible action here in San Antonio. Wow. Two big men throwing big shots right here. Gonzalez is fighting on fumes right now. The referee taking a good look at Zerto, bearing down on his opponent. He's ready to go. Gonzalez better throw something back. Ten seconds left. <laughs> what a fight this has been. <laughs> wow. Let me tell you something, Gonzalez really slow off his stool. The doctor needs to stop this. Gonzalez literally had to be lifted off his stool at okay. the end or at the beginning Let's of go. this round. I think it's a mistake to allow this fight to continue. He might have to be lifted off the canvas here in a few moments. His trainer asking him, do you want to continue? And he didn't answer several times. Yeah, really? the body language said a lot in that moment. Gonzalez really? was largely unresponsive to those questions. Ramirez is going to have to put out Gonzalez. Put him out of his misery here, because Gonzalez is not going anywhere. The referee, Rafael Ramos, right on top of these guys. Gonzalez still looking for that overhand right. Pretty impressive chin shown by Gonzalez. He's just eating straight left hands. And now he's coming forward. Remember the Alamo. That's what Gonzalez, that's his mentality. I'm not out of it till I'm out of it. Oh, a big head collision. It looked like the forehead of Gonzalez clipped Ramirez good. Yeah, I caught him right on the jaw, too. Ooh. Nice and alert. That could change the complexion of a fight. Back on the jab. Back on the jab. And here we're going to see the, the headbutt in slow motion. You get this a lot with lefties and righties, but wow! That, that was a right, like a right hand crushing against the side of his jaw, and a headbutt is harder than a fist. It's like a wrecking ball. Wow! A little bit more energy coming from Uneski Gonzalez. A little bit more li liveliness in the legs. So you figure when you get to this point in the fight, Sergio, he's got to have feel that second wind coming along. And the adrenaline. And his corner's got to be telling him he needs a knockout, Sergio. How does Zerto or how does Uneski Gonzalez get it? By timing him with that right hand. I mean, he got close. He's landed it before already. Oh, the crowd senses something, and you can see Gonzalez backpedaling. And Ramirez better not forget the body. The body's what's going to set up the knockout. He slipped that right hand, did Zerto. Oh, he caught him that time. Oh, got to go and finish him. That right hand is the only thing that Ramirez needs to look out for. He's going to try to pepper him and force the referee to stop it. And he does! Zerto Ramirez! Knockout number 29 as he remains perfect in the light heavyweight division. And Gonzalez is out, his legs dancing back to the corner, but what a courageous performance by Udeski Gonzalez. He was out, but he gave the referee a big hug and lifted him up in the air after that. No issue from Uneski Gonzalez with that stoppage. Brave performance, but he knew it was time hey. to stop it.